Okay, my friends, you're going to find this extremely interesting. This is rock and mineral identification by uh, a study guide made for students of Fleming College in Lindsay, Ontario, Canada, and anybody else who might find it useful. Well, I, it, 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 what it is, is it's the mainstream interpretation of all kinds of different rocks. All right, you see it started out here, rock and mineral identification. And then it comes out here and it starts off with quartz and the hardness and all this business. And it goes right through all these different rocks out here till 6 minutes and 30 seconds. And then I want you to see something. Because they're going to be talking about what I will tell you right now is grip skin from a giant creature. Now listen to this now. Uh, here Barite. The hardness of 2.5 to 3.5. The luster is non-metallic. You see that? That is the fibrous, really tough, tough stuff that's in your grip skin. I keep talking about this all the time, and I've shown it a bazillion times. Now, on the other side of the grip skin is the anchor balls. You're going to see this in a second. Vitreous. Awesome. Look at how tough that is. Now, there's the anchor balls. And there's a, a, a membrane in between the two, and the anchor balls are below, and this snaps down onto a lower layer. It's as simple as that. Parent or translucent. Uh, the streak is white. Streak is white. Cleavage is perfect basal. And pr you see that? It's, a, it's it just ripped right off the skin. Prismatic or could be massive with look, fractures. Look at that. Now that is exactly, exactly what I have shown is in the grip skin. It's fibers that are all like that and, and they are just as tough as you can be. As it can be. Now, and I believe that what is embedded in this matrix because it's not it doesn't look like that on your fingers or anybody's fingers or toes but what's embedded in that is a lot of silicon and I think there's a lot of um, other things in there that nobody knows about that I'd like to see somebody investigate the actual chemistry of grip skin because I think there might be iridium I know iridium comes from creatures, no question what's 100%. Now, where it is in your body, I don't know. But I do know that it's, well, let me put it this way. Here's the deal with iridium. Here it is right here, IR. All right, iridium. You see what that is? That, that, you may not understand this, but this is right in the middle of the transition metals. Transition metals give and take from your body and they are in the blood so they found the um this layer this uh, luis alvarez found a layer on the earth that he claimed was iridium it had iridium in it higher than the normal concentration i don't know how much iridium was there but he said it covered basically the earth he said it was from an asteroid impact created this huge cloud of iridium which i dispute I say it was from the global flood that was all written in every culture. If you've studied Velikowski, and I have, and I've studied everything, so don't tell me that I need to look at this or I need to look at it. I've looked at everything. You need to look at everything. Velikowski went and he looked at everything in every culture, and he found that they all had the same story. All right, you're going to have to look him up and do your own research. Now, I know how to look at blood vessels, and I, I know how to look at the anatomy, and I know how to look at the Specific chemistry. Specific gravity, 4.3 to 4.6, occurs in tabular crystals in granular form or in compact masses resembling marble. You see that? That's the bloody layer right below the grip skin. Now, all of the softer stuff has eroded out of that really tough as hell matrix. And then at the very bottom, I don't know if he's going to show it again. Color. It's, it's got all those holes. White, yellow, brown, red, green. Or you see this? These are the plugs that snap this down. And you're going to see it. And this is all the blood that goes along with it. So go, let's go take a look at that. All right, there's grip skin right there. That's a giant toe. <laughs> I'm telling you, and I, I can prove it. And you can't deny it after I show it to you. That is the kind of grip skin is is on toes and fingers and all that and this is the calcification areas and I show this in the microscope and and how this whoops you can't see that can you no you can't 
over there is well there, there's some over here too which you could see but this is the one I want you to see this is the big gnarly and you can see the you see the red and the brown in here anytime you see red and brown and these blood colors you know you got some arterial or you know when it's red it's arterial when it's black it's vein now that is the um, uh, grip skin that like I said is a toe look at this this is the ugh, this is the guy's to uh, callus <laughs> that's the callus on the toe I, I, I'm serious I am absolutely serious and this if you can see you should be able to see well enough that that is where the toenail was. Now we saw the the uh, callus. We see the toenail. We've seen the grip skin. This is the vein blood right here. And the only reason the vein blood blew out on this one because the artery was capped off by this enormous, unbelievably structurally unbelievable callus look at that thing and it is loaded with gold I've looked at it now in the microscope now you see whoa, down here at the very end that's where the, the vein blood blew back out again it tried to force its way out and eventually it blew back out but th that's what this is <clears throat> and that's where the, the toenail was and that's where the grip skin is now let me show you some other grip skin all right, now don't forget, the one they showed was all eroded down where all of that softer stuff was gone and all you had was the fibers left. And that's what can happen to lungs and other lungs can be absolutely perfect. Like this one right here, flawless. And that's the plur on the lung. This lung was DNA certified. I have the tests. We took the blood out of this area down here. You don't need much out of there. And, then, and uh, you know, we did it very well and clean and all that. And sent it off to have it tested. And it came back human mitochondrial DNA. And it's that's a long, you have any, I've had an anatomist look at it. We had a CAT scan. It's no question what it is. Now, and we had other things tested too. And they, they came back what we had expected they would be. And we had the anatomist checked everything. So I had no question. And look, look at this. It's a goose's head. He said, oh, that can't be Roger. That's just a rock. Oh, yeah, a rock with feathers in it. You see the feathers? If you can't see that, and you can't see that that's a goose head, I can't help you. Now, and it also has the same, similar fibers as this. Now, they, they go different densities. Where that thing that they he showed before had an extreme density of, of this. Now, let me show you what grip skin looks like. Now, i got to be honest with you, I don't think um, medicine understands the fibers that are in grip skin. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. I don't think they realize how much, how fibrous that is and what fibers actually look like in, in mud fossils. I don't see them showing these kind of things. They talking about keratinized cells and so forth. Well, that's keratinized cells, let's call that these fibers that I'm showing. Now, we can see the bottom ones. Remember we saw all those holes in the bottom and we saw a white membrane in between and then I said it was red bloody tissue. Well, there's red blood in there a little bit. Now, the fibers are in here and they don't realize they're there, I don't think. They didn't realize the intersection was here either until I pointed it out either. <laughs> Okay, Any, anybody that's been paying any attention whatsoever, I've been milking the hell out of this interstitial, because I discovered it in 2012 or in that area, and um, here it is, 2018, they finally dis agree, interstitial, new organ discovered in human body after previously missed by scientists. I showed you all those little balls. Here they are right here. This is what it is. These, uh, this is a little bit different. Um, the grip skin is different than the rest, because those balls are just a whole rack of them. Here you have a little bit different situation. You have a lot of flexible skin in the really fleshy areas, and they're filled with bags of water, basically, f fluid filled spaces. These things here, and then they have these things here are like, like almost like. Um, 
spring rubber, you know, and they will come back to where they're supposed to be in that shape. And these balls are anchors. These are the tough things to anchors. Then the straps are not too bad. The rest is kind of floppy. But what we were looking at before is almost like looking down at this, but this is twisted sideways like this on the um, grip skin. All the balls, you, you saw them, they were all over, come right down the whole thing. So that's like these balls. Instead of being this way, they would be up like this. And you'd have some movement in between them, but there was a ton of them. And they have to be there. And then th up here has to be that really grippy, grippy, grippy stuff. And that is the, the I mean, I've showed it a million times, or, or maybe a million and a half. I don't know. At least a hundred million. I mean, I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm just kidding around. A hundred million, maybe half that. But th those are the balls. You saw it exactly identical to what grip skin is. So until they start to come around and look at mud fossils for what it really is, they just, you know, I mean, this is nice to be able to call it a name. It's called uh, barite. And they give the names and they say this is a certain hardness. This is a specific gravity. This is the color. This is the fraction and the, the fractal, you know, all that stuff. They, you know, which is good. That's fine. And they, they give it a name, but it's, it, it's all biology. That's my point. I don't care. Name it. Yes, that's fine. It's good for you to understand the names, the quartzite and all of the different minerals and metals and all that. Yes, what they look like and how to identify them. Absolutely wonderful. Once you understand they're all biology and this doesn't have to come in this particular formation. This could be literally glass. And I'm not kidding you. You could have almost anything turn to almost anything depending upon the condition it finds itself in. It, like this is a toe. You see that? That's the blood in the toe. That's a toe. Huh? And it's loaded with metals, gold gushing out of here. There's gold everywhere in there. Now, and I've got stuff coming out of my ears here that is all biological. I, I can I can prove every word I'm saying. So it's time for them to prove back to me that I'm wrong. I did my part.